Hello YouTube! Welcome to my 1 to 99 fishing guide. Yes, by me, gaming. Right, so let's begin. First things first, you're going to want to go to Lumbridge Swamp or Drain or Swamp. Well, I wouldn't say a swamp, but yeah, if Willow's growing swamps. Swamp. Now, you're going to want to catch shrimps, and you get anchovies as well, I believe, from the same level, and it'll... You're doing this from 1 to 10, and you'll need to do exactly 116. Now, stay tuned to the end of the guide where I'm going to give you little bonuses for your fishing skill and experience. Right, moving, moving. Now, from now, this part of the guide, it's going to be a little tricky, tricky because, because you can catch you can multiple, multiple fish, fish duty levels, levels, and, and as you can as see, there are two different two things. things. Uh, I think uh, bait, bait and, and net. net. One of the, yeah, yeah, I think it is. Right, right. Uh, this, uh, this, this herring, herring and sardines. And sardines. Now, now, what you're going to want to do want is count out sardines, sardines and herring to get. So, so, let's just say, let's say from, from 10 to 15, 15 you'll, need you'll need an average of 63 sardines, which, which you will get a majority of because, because your fishing level is low, you won't get as many herring. I believe it's around 30 or no, around 15, where you start getting multiple, multiple herrings. Now, now. From when, from you, get when you get to 15, 15 you're going to want to do herring, herring, so as you can see, I'm catching, catching both, both of them. them. So, so I'll, I'll just count, count 69, 69, yes, yes funny. 69, 69 of these herrings, herrings from 15, from 15 to 20, because, because yeah, it's yeah, good it's XP, good XP and, and you don't need to have to, have to move. move. Now, if now, you really want to know a quick way of doing this, just bring the amount of feathers you need, so around 150, and yeah, yeah. Drop them. Drop them. Simple. Simple. Or go, or bank, go bank at, at train or. Now this next section requires you to go to Catherby to catch mackerel. Now you're going to see me catching multiple other fish like bass. And just don't worry about it. You won't be able to catch them until you get to level 46. But this is from level 20 to 30. Now you will need to catch 445 mackerel. Now to get here you just need to unlock the Catherby lodestone. So best thing to do. Wolf, wh wolf whistle quest. I think that's still around to unlock something, no it's been changed, but either way as I just said, 445 of these, 20 to 30 mackerel and the bank is relatively close. This section I'm going to be showing you fly fishing, now to do fly fishing you need to add a fly fishing to your tool belt, if not just leave it in your inventory, but having it in your tool belt gives you that one extra space. Now, what you'll be catching are trout and salmon at the river that goes between Barbarian Village and Varrock, now quick way of getting there, Edgeville run down south best way to do it to be honest because it is relatively quickly or if you explored the stronghold of security use a barbarian scepter I think it's called and you can just run east and boom here you are now because you catch both of these fish at the level I'm suggesting which is 30 to 45 you're best off just banking them or counting how many you've done so you will need a combined of 510 as an average amount of fish that you've caught from here until you can get from 30 to 45. So it's relatively quick, as I've just said many times. There's two locations to do this that are good, Shiloh Village and here. Right now, moving on. Now this part of the guide does get a little messy. Right, now from 45 to 60 you're going to want to be doing tuna. Now tuna is located in Catherby, the best place to do it is either, yeah, is here. And you're going to want to, yeah, just bring a n harpoon harpoon or put it in your inventory or tool belt and here you'll be doing it. Now as you can see there are swordfish there so let me finish with the tuna. 45 to 60 you will be doing tuna. You'll need to catch 2653 um, of, of the amount of tuna to progress to level 60 and from 65 to 75 you'll be doing swordfish. Now I know it's a bit messy but the next section of this guide will help. Now from 65 to 75 it's swordfish as I just said and you will need to catch six, 7610 of these swordfish and the bank is relatively close to get to level 75 yeah fishing. Moving on to the before. <laughs> Now, to make up for the swordfish thing, what you're going to be doing are lobsters, which is from level, let's see, 60 to 65, which is the little gap in between. You'll need to catch 1,941, and thankfully, lobsters aren't shared with anything. Right, now what you'll need is a lobster cage, which you can actually conveniently get from the shop in Catherby, which is, as you can see, in the little mini-map there and the best part about it is it's relatively quick now you can either drop them or just bank them I say yeah and I'm advising banking because you can either cook them for an extra skill or just sell them at the GE for a relatively low price now the best way to drop I will show you when I get to my rocktail section of the well not rocktail barbarian fishing section of the guide but for now let's just continue with what I had planned 
and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the guide. Right, now moving on to swordfish. Barbarian style. Right, now this next step can be done from 68, no, from 70 fishing onwards, but I would recommend you do it from 75 to, mm, yes, yeah, 75 to, let's see, 85, right. What it requires is 50 strength, and you will be doing the barbarian style of fishing. Now, the game will automatically detect that you have the highest level as long as you've done the barbarian fishing little mini game thing. You will need to catch 20,428 of these swordfish and this location is the fishing guild which is located just west of the Sears village. Now from 85 to 90 you'll need to fish 18,000 monkfish. Now to unlock this one area what you need to do is the quest Swan Song. Yes, Swan Song. And the location of this area is the Pictorious Fishing Area, located north of the Feldip Hills Lodestone. Now, as I said, you need to do that quest. It's relatively easy from around 160 combat. Just bring a range or polypore and you'll be fine. But yeah, moving on with the guide, we will be going to... Cavefish! Now, since the recent bot nuke, which was RS3, Cavefish have skyrocketed in price. Now, this will be from 90 to 96. You'll need to catch 4,441. Now, as you can see, I'm getting my arse handed to me. But I would recommend you bring armor here and go to a heavily populated world. Don't be let this pull you off. As you can see, I'm only in a hood and a cape, which barely does anything. And I'm getting attacked by four different ones. So it's not really good. So yeah, from 96, now from 90 to 96, it's 14,441 of these cave fish with a lot of bank being made. Now, one of the two ways I would recommend getting from 96 to 99 would be shark barbarian fishing. Now to do this, you just go back to the fishing guild, which I said earlier, but for those that have forgotten, it is west of the Sears village lodestone? I may not have said it actually, but fair enough. Right, do this from 96 to 99 and you need to catch an exact amount of 30,454 of these sharks. Now, benefit is the bank's right there and sharks are rising at the moment, so you can easily sell them or I think you can make them into a pouch. Now, my second 96 to 99, I will be recommending rock tails. Now, rock tails, uh, they're relatively slow, I'm not going to lie to you. But if you really want to make a lot of profit, this is the place to go. As you can see, there are loads of legit players doing this, because the amount of money they make is unreal. Now, you'll need to catch from 96 to 99, 8,816 of these cretins. And, as I said, yeah, they're relatively slow. You'll only get around 400 to 550 fish per hour if you're using some of the advice that I'm going to give you towards the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for the extra, you know, fishing techniques that just speed it all up and give you better XP. Right, now, moving on to my last thing. Now, from a relatively low level, 75, you unlock the ability to do this. This is barbarian fishing, where you catch three different fish, and it's relatively quick. This is 80 kxp an hour, which is by far the fastest way of training fishing. The f right, as you can see here, I'm adding things to my ability bar because it really helps to drop them. Now there are leaping sturgeon, salmon, and I believe trout. Now what you can do is you need a barbarian rod after you finish learning barbarian fishing, so make sure you come here and do that. You add them to your ability bar, so as you're fishing them you can right click drop. Now you, it's a, it takes a very long time for it to run out of fish in that little area there, and you know, it's you just have to drop it, that's it, simple. Now, you'll have to catch a fair amount, 147k, so bring that much in feathers, so you can keep track roughly of where you are. But yeah, 147,000 of these, and you'll get to 99 fishing at 80 kxp an hour. It's not too far away, just think, every 10 hours you're doing 800 kxp, that's about one fifteenth of the journey. Right, this is the last part of my guide, I'll be adding my tips, tricks, and the emote, which is located right here, for the end of the video. Now, first things first, my alternate to the barbarian fishing, and I believe this is an extreme amount of fishing XP an hour, uh, is the Shiloh village. Now as you can see there's a bank right there so you don't have to drop them, and yeah, this is extremely quick, this gives up to 75k XP an hour, and yeah, you can just do this from level 40 onwards, you don't have to move, so just bring like, I don't know, 200,000 feathers, maybe a bit more, 250,000 to be safe, and you'll get 99 easily, no sweat, and pretty damn quickly. I did this for a long while as well. This and monkfish were, and barbarian fishing, are what got me to 99. You know, I didn't obviously do it all at once, 
but I did, you know, do a lot of it. So once I run out of feathers, I'm going to go show you my emote and give you a few tips and tricks that will help you on your way to becoming, well, a master fisherman. Now here we go for the grand finale of this guide. Right now, along your way, there are various auras, uh, urns, and things that you can get on for training various different skills. Now for auras, I don't really have it because I don't have the loyalty points required to buy it. Otherwise, I would just to show you guys. One is called Wisdom. It gives a 2.5% XP rate, not two times, but 2.5 of the XP extra per whatever you're doing for I think it's around 15 to 30 minutes depending on what one you buy. There's another one that gives you like a chance to catch two fish or faster fish but I think that's called Greater F Loose Fingers or something or maybe that's the pickpocketing one but you're gonna have to go check out the loyalty shop in either Varrock or Tavoli I believe it is. Yeah. Right now first things first you can get outfits from the Fish Flingers French chat well not French chat but the actual mini game that give you I think it's a total of 0.5% no yeah 5 well 5% 5 more XP per fish at, at total so that plus what I just said completely and plus the aura sorry not getting it now plus the aura gives you know 7.5 there you go look he's got the fish flingers shit on as we speak there look, look at that nice little hat over there woo hat over there woo yeah that crap right uh, you can also get urns Urns give a decent amount of XP. An example would be once you fill it up with a, this is a decorated one. So once you fill it up with 25 sharks, I think maybe even more, it gives you like I don't know. I think it's a 10k XP bonus after you send it off. So that always helps. Now there are two familiars that give you an invisible fishing bonus. So the first one here is an ibis pouch. This also, as you can see, withdraw. Oh, it's got no items at this moment, but this little ibis over here picks up set like fish so if you're fishing for a long ver amount of time for GP this is probably the best thing you can you know summon but however if you're doing rock tails what you're going to want are three of these pouches in your inventory while you camp it because it gives I think it's a plus 11 or 7 to 11 fishing bonus and it's, a inv inv it's invisible it is you're not going to see it sorry guys but it does make a hell of a difference at places like Monkfish or Rocktails or even Barbarian Shark. But right, thank you all for watching this video. I'm going to sign off now. Uh, I promised you guys I'd bring you a fishing vid. Here it is. But here is the emote before I go. Almost forgot. Boom. La 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 la. Oh, is that on? Goldfish. Can't even catch them. Oh well. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to treat you. This is my rarest fishing thing ever. It's probably shit to you guys but it's a big shark if you've got a house and you're not going to remove your destroy your house this is what you want a big shark you can either think you can stuff it and put it on your wall yeah I think that's it It'd be great if you could animate it like you can the gem pet but you can't so alright guys sorry for bantering ranting on thank you for watching uh, talk to you guys later and if you have any more requests please just comment and if you hate me I don't give a shit see you guys later bye